Rishi Sunak says Britain's greatest source of strength and security is its global alliances ahead of revealing the next stage of the AUKUS nuclear submarine program with the US and Australia. Britain's greatest source of strength and security comes from its global alliances, Prime Minister Rishi Sunak said last night ahead of a key meeting with Australia and the US. The PM is expected to reveal the next stage of the AUKUS nuclear submarine program in San Diego tomorrow, where he will meet with US President Joe Biden and Australian PM Anthony Albanese. In turbulent times, the UK's global alliances are our greatest source of strength and security, said the PM as he prepared for his flight. I am traveling to the United States today to launch the next stage of the AUKUS nuclear submarine program, a project which is binding ties to our closest allies in delivering security, new technology, and economic advantage at home. As we launch the 2023 Integrated Review Refresh tomorrow, this is the future we want to deliver, a UK that is secure, prosperous and standing shoulder to shoulder with our partners. Despite a war involving Russia on European soil, the move will essentially turn Britain's Indo-Pacific tilt into an Indo-Pacific posture as it commits to dealing with the West's greatest and long-term threat, China. The same message is expected to be given by this week's so-called Integrated Review Refresh, which will highlight the increasingly concerning behavior of the Chinese Communist Party and Thursday's visit to Japan by Defense Secretary Ben Wallace to discuss progress with the new Global Combat Air Program GCAP, fighter jet project. GCAP will combine the Japanese FX and Anglo-Italian Tempest next-generation fighter aircraft projects to replace the Eurofighter Typhoon and Mitsubishi F-2 by 2035. It follows the striking by Boris Johnson of an unprecedented defense pact with Japan, described as the most significant defense agreement. But these will be a temporary measure, while Britain develops plans for a modified version of its own next-generation submarine. The move, a decision made in Canberra, will support tens of thousands of jobs in so-called Red Wall constituencies in Northern England. As recently as Christmas there were media suggestions that AUKUS was going badly, and the US was cautioning against mention of its Virginia-class submarine. We have come a long way since then, and, if this leaks are accurate, the arrangement may suit the UK much better than we had had dared to hope, said Professor Alessio Padalano, East Asia war strategy expert at King's College London. The Pacific tilt is clearly not some mad idea of Boris Johnson's of long-lost empire. As it was depicted in certain quarters, just look at the boost to trade in our defense industry, at a time when we are also selling new frigates to Indonesia and are embarking on GCAP with Japan and Italy. He added, AUKUS is a win for all concerned the US has its own capable submarines based in Australia at Australian cost, Britain gets its next-generation submarine at reduced cost because the real outlay R&D will have been done for Australia while Australia receives the capability she is seeking to meet the Chinese threat. But he acknowledged there would be little hope of the defence refresh filling capability gaps in Europe, we need to accept a degree of exposure in the medium and short term when it comes to Europe. And the sooner we grasp this, the better, he said, we simply cannot reverse more than 10 years of what was essentially a cost-cutting exercise which elevated operational issues into strategic ones. James Rogers of the Council of Geostrategy said, the point is that AUKUS is a real thing and an impotent plank by which the UK and her allies can attempt to constrain more excessive Chinese ambitions. This announcement will see the UK move from an Indo-Pacific tilt to a fuller Indo-Pacific posture, adding.